Hello, beautiful business owners, managers, and community leaders. Today, we are going to look at a tool that will help us to identify our ideal customers and be able to speak in a way that engages them and gets them seeing the benefits of the services or the products that you provide. So this is an AI powered research assistant tool that can then create content based off that research that helps us to rank and to speak directly to our ideal customer. So if you don't know what an ideal customer is, this is an absolute fundamental step of consumer based marketing or customer based business model where the focus and the whole goal is to understand a particular person um, that is going to benefit the most from what you have to offer and then from there you don't have to speak the language of everyone because if you're just speaking to everyone it's a mass product this is for niching down and getting very very direct and understanding who is going to be able to give you that return on investment that fair share for that product and service that you provide so that you can stay in business as well because your product may be useful to heaps and heaps and heaps of people but if you're not targeting the people that will get the maximum amount of value from your product chances are you could be going out of business and if you don't identify with who it is that will get the most value from your product the person who is going to be able to afford to pay you what it is that you need to be able to stay in business and to keep serving and providing this value back then you are not going to meet your goals. You're not going to. Do, you're going to be stressed out all the time, and you're not going to be really serving the people in most need. So we need to understand that we need to un, to I, ID that ideal customer, and what is that customer's persona? Um, where do they meet? Where do they hang out? How do they talk? Um, what channels are they on? So that we can focus our marketing to speak directly to them so not that we're trying to get them to come to us we go to them and we can speak directly to their needs in their language and therefore they can you know it sparks in them our message sparks and and they understand without as much holding of the hands as a mass market or getting cold sales through. So this tool uh, promises to be very exciting for content creators, anyone really that is focused on a niche or anyone that wants to learn customer focused um, sales and marketing. So copywriters, if you're doing anything out there um, that isn't a mass marketed bulk product, then this tool is potentially uh, option for you to help improve your workflows. So without any further ado, we will get into looking at the none other coolq.ai. So let's have a look. So here is coolq's website, coolq.ai, and this is how you can get in for $39 for 30 days and you can keep recurring that. You have some limitations, one user, five workspaces, but if it is a tool that can benefit you and helps you to generate um, meaningful connections with the right people, then uh, you know it's a small price to pay. If as your business grows, you can then upgrade into other plans as your need grows. So logging in. So logging in at the back, we have our workspaces here. So these are the different niches that we want to target. So I have some in here that I have been using. There is demo workspaces. So depending on what it is that you are offering and the problems that you address, that you solve, here are workspaces that you can just replicate into your own um, 
unique workspaces. So let's go in to my workspace so we can change the name. Oh, I deleted that, that's okay. Let's go into this one. Okay, so I can add members. I have showing my workspaces up here. I can train their AI assistants, Athenia. Uh, so we can add in blogs that are relevant and we can get the AI assistant to learn off those. So I have 10,000 output credits. It's approximately 10,000 words that I have um, per month and I am an administrator and so I can change that on it. So market research, let's go in. So in the market research, we have all these different elements which just pretty much guides us through on the research required and the information required uh, for most businesses. Now, not all of them may be relevant to your niche and what you are doing, but at least you can go and you can see, and as they become relevant, you can add them. If they're not relevant, you don't need to add them. So you can just start at the top and it will load up and you just start filling in the details of your niche, how you define it. And if you get stuck at all, you can fill with examples. And then once you get going and you've entered a few bits of the information into here, you can fill with AI just with a click of a button. The AI will get the gist of what it is that you are trying to say. And you can, so we can fill with examples. Um, so you can, yeah, use that tool to help you speed up this process, but it is a worthwhile process to go through and to answer all these questions. We can export it then to a CSV file or a PDF file. I'll just save that now. So we'll just fill in the information to get the most the most correct output from this. So we'll save as we go. We'll fill in with examples and we'll save as we go. Oh, so it sees that it's completing. But that one, for whatever reason, did not do that. Keep filling. So metrics, what it is that we're looking for. So we can be very, very targeted and speak exactly to who it is that we are wanting. Let's see. We can... So below is a detailed explanation of what it is that it is seeking. So just to kind of do a comparison, when you're using other copy scripts, because CrawlQ is a content creator, it does sales copy, it does emails, just like a product like Funnel Scripts. So Funnel Scripts has all these different scripts that we can use. But one of the most important aspects of being able to use funnel scripts is that you have to have an avatar. You have to have an ideal customer put into here. So you have your profiles in here that you have to go through and you do the research on, you know, what is their, what's the name that you're going to give them? What are their, their identities? What are their main focus, what results do they want? So you've got to fill out all these kind of details in these um, programs as well. Another one would be automatic scripts. So you got to go and fill out all these details. So there is no difference here um, with crawl Q. You need to fill out the information um, so that it knows who you're targeting and 
uh, those are going to then be used to help you create content that speaks directly to that ideal customer. So we can just go and filling with examples, you, you know, that can just be used as a guide to help you. Again, if you put in a couple of them, then the fill with AI can speed up that process for you. So we've got over on this side, just telling us why is it important. So this is a really good learning tool for staff or freelancers that you might have to create your content for you, or if you're starting out as a solopreneur, or if that's just the way that you like to do business, that's fine. Um, but this tool will help guide you through. And so it's using uh, frameworks that are from some of the best marketing and sales copy books available. So it's basically like an applied textbook here. So you could go and you could read a textbooks on sales copy, or you could come in here and you can have a look through and start filling out the details and you get a lot of the same information. Um, so we can just keep doing this. You can see that it's quite extensive. So that has been a barrier of entry to some people who, um, you know, again, might be targeting a mass group of people and happy to just do simple keyword and SEO research. Um, that's fine for some niches, but this really targets it down. So this is the, you know, benefit of Crawl Q that it really focuses in. So basically, we create our workspace. That's a niche that we want to. Um, you know, the, the ideal customer for our product and service. We define it by the process that I am showing you now in the market research. So we can just keep going through that. And then once we have an idea of our niche, then we can either go on to the um, market spying wizard that's built into it. So this is if we don't have an idea, sorry. If we do not have an idea still, if we're going through this and we're kind of, we're filling it out to the best, but we're still needing a bit more, we can go and do the market spying wizard and we can discover um, more information, more accurate ways to define that ideal client. So we can then take, you know, take notes from this, so Market Spying Wizard and the Search Intent Discovery, so finding out what is the um, reason behind people's queries, what are they actually really wanting to solve. Um, so we want to speak directly to that need. If we do already know, you know, who our target audience is, we've done this and um, we're really kind of happy and ready to start creating content. Then we go to the market research and renace, renaissance, and we put it all in. Yep, and we then can go into long and short form. So in their long and short form, we got a sales copy wizard, long forms, and AI content writing forms of articles and blogs, landing pages etc. And then short form, we've got text summarizers and the AI content writer. So we've got AI content writer here, but this is rewriter, sorry. So summarizer and rewriter. So what that may also be good for is when we're getting content, um, when we're doing research, we can get summarized clips uh, from the research that we're doing. And if we are writing content and we want to do A-B testing, which I'd highly recommend that you are testing and constantly getting data. The beautiful thing about digital marketing is we can 
analyze based off real data. It's not hearsay. When someone clicks, they click. When they don't click, they don't click. So we can see that data. So using A-B testing all the time to constantly improve. And this is what these tools here can help us do. If we're not getting clicks or if it's not working, we just go back and we just adjust it. We adjust it, we can use these tools to rewrite it. If it's um, seemingly too long, people are dropping out, we can summarize it, or if it's really, you know, basically, yeah. So you can use this all in conjunction. This tool does not have to be used in the way that this diagram is set up. Um, you can jump all over the place and really go nuts with it. So as you're A-B testing, you just keep refining and keep improving this. And so there is really no mistake. When we are using tools like CruelQ, we just keep refining and getting better and getting better and getting better. And if you're in it for the long haul, which I imagine you are, you wanting to create real value to your clients, and you believe in that client um, ability to get value from what you are doing, so you believe that you are actually helping them, then wouldn't you want a business that is sustainable for you in the long run to be able to help more and more people do what you can help them to achieve? So spying wizard, so we can just add in my keyword topic, and this is important practical marketing. I love processes, I love management, and that comes down to me to be actual practical marketing. How do you get your offers in a practical way, so realistic way, to those that are going to benefit the most from them? So we can have a look through these different psychographics and uh, semantics and have a look so let's see social media research let's have a look at what this does so it just helps us by directing us to where we can get the information so we can look up search what's what comes up so digital marketing australia um in australia so Makes sense. Video marketing community. So we can just go through and uh, we can see. Yeah, that's me in photos. That's me. What's coming up for practical marketing? Maybe that is not a search term that my clients would use. Let's have a look and see what comes up. So this just helps us with search, right? Let's see, what books, the practical marketing book, practical marketing in Australia, digital marketing, a practical approach, right, so these are some books that can help us, let's see, what else, how do I grow my business let's see and let's do a video search and see what's coming up so this is great to do further research and see I guess the first thing we would know need to know is what is our target market even searching for what questions are they going for so this can help us out and we can see who has a decent amount of of views, how long their videos have been up uh, from the search term. So this just helps us go to these places um, where we would be doing our market research anyway, it opens up in a new tab. So very handy. We can go through and we can spend, you know, a good uh, amount of time focusing and getting relevant data and therefore we don't have to keep coming back to this over and over again. So spying wizard spies on what's going on on the internet. So it's basically using the search engines and seeing what is coming up. Search engine intent, how to scale 
my business. Let's see what this tool is doing. Okay, so let's have a look. How to scale my business? How will how will you scale your business? When to scale your business? So these are all content ideas for us to use to create. So each one of these could be incorporated into a blog. Um, these kind of questions could be incorporated and useful in our sales copy. These are other related trending topics, so we can see them. Different niches in here, you know. See, scale your business online. All right, so that's market research. So once we have done that and we have got that to a happy point, then we can go here, main topic of interest. So practical marketing. Initial content idea, how to build a scalable business from the ground up doing it for America, we can change that. What is the main topic of interest of your blog? We can fill with a examples, and the examples are not just airy-fairy, they're actually somewhat relevant to what it is that I have been talking about. Sales content strategy. Yep, so let's create. I think that could just be by chance that it's somewhat relevant because, you know, it's a B2B tool that can be used B2C, business to business or business to customer, end customer. All right, so in this part, we have our... content writer that's powered by the in-house AI. So we have, we can generate an intro. We can have a look at who's ranking for that term, who is ranking for that term. So we can see SERP results. Yeah, and you're seeing the headings here. Well, so here we go. You just can go in, so you can have a look. So it's like all in one place where you can see what is going on with, you know, these are the keywords, you know, the topics, questions that might be useful for um, your niche. So reviews, and this is our data that we put in so that when we're writing, we can have it right here with us um, to use so that we can remember to keep the customer and the value that we give to the customer first and foremost in our minds. Okay, so overview, content sketch. So let's have a look at these tools. Oh, nothing at the moment. Let's try that again. Okay, nothing at the moment. All right, so over on this side, how to build a scale of business from the ground up is what I put it on. Um, then it gives me my blog outline. So solution scale content, 
this is the information that we put in before. So it just walks us through that information. Aha, uh -huh, here's the content sketch. And it kind of then goes through and gives us uh, questions and sometimes it gives us the information under there that we need to focus on. So a really good writing assistant. So it did do stuff. You can see it's got two of these here. So let's delete one. Let's see how easy that is. Do that. Yep, we deleted it. All right. Okay. Now let's go and in introduction, let's see headline intros, how this works. So up here, it's giving us our average headers, our average images, average words, and average topic score so that we can um, rank our content Okay, so this gives us a nice little intro that we can do. So we can just copy that, paste it in, copy that, paste it in, and we want to make sure that we're reading it and um, see that it, it truly does address and focuses on our niche. Okay, so we want to keep making sure that it's focusing on our ideal customer. All right, so let's go. So creating services and products that can be scaled is a massive advantage. comes to business growth and sustainability. All right, let's just click that, see what that does. So I just wrote a sentence and what came out is important to find the right idea for a scalable business, for example, an app company can grow with more and more users may be a good fit. Okay, so we want to look at what's something that you can get more and more users and the resources that you use and need to accommodate those users do not grow exponentially. Or if they do, how are you going to you know, mitigate against that rising cost of um, are you able to then get economies of scale with the values with having lots of people there sharing you know maybe in bulk data that you can then everyone gets access to or something like that all right so up the top we have us we can save that we can add media in let's have a look capitalize we can put in source code we can put in different media we can add comments, show comments, we can delete conversations. So let's have a look. All right, so for team members, right, we can give adjustments in here, we can clear, we can save, we can put in tables, it's got word count, spell check in different languages, so we can change that. Got different format options, other link for inserting. All right, we can put in a table of contents, insert templates. Right, we can view it in different ways, put blocks, individual characters, so general basic word processor. We can export it as a PDF, we can print it, we can delete all conversations and we're going to restore it to the last draft. Let's click off that. So very easy to use. We'll save. 
and let's see, can we now, so let's go to our word count down the bottom. Oh, this is still here. There we go, delete that. Let's save this again. File. So now we just got to go back. How do we go back? Is there not an exit? Let's see, it goes to new document. No. We can change our countries here. Oh, so just using the back button, that's a bit clunky. Um, I will let them know about that. I think they probably already do. All right, so that's the content writer. And so we got sales copywriter as well. Remember, these are the long form options that we got, and these are based on textbooks and the insights from those kind of books in it. So you've got different formats that you can do. And so you just select one. So say we're doing our webinar, let's select. We've got a short version or authority one. We can pre-fill with examples. We go we can fill with AI Let's see yep so we just go down and this is the same you know the same thing with any of any of these you're gonna have to go through and you're gonna have to input what it is that you're what it is that you're looking for Okay, so we just go down and see because lots of questions because you want to have it in depth as possible. So um, practical marketing. Oops. If it so, let's just take out a couple of these and fill with AI. So then the AI that it uses would be based off the research that we have done. So this is going to be very targeted AI content. Yep. Cool. So then we've got our script all done. We're going to create our document. These ones didn't come up because I didn't put in the top bit. All right, so once we put our main topic in, then we can go and fill with the AI. So now it is loading. Maybe I don't want it to be in Afghanistan. Let's see, where is America? Lots and lots of places. United States of America. Okay, so here we go. We got our headers, average images that we would need, the words, and it'll score us. So then we can go through, and basically these are our slides that we use for our webinar. Um, so this is telling us what others, you know, other webinars are using. Let's see, and then what has come back with ours. So we're 2,487 words, the average word is 2,878 words. Average is 16 headers, and we could go through and we could see how many headers we have, if you really could be bothered in that, but I'd say that this is framed off that, 
information. So as this information changes, the AI would also change. Like obviously, if more and more people start to change the structure of their webinars, then this software will be able to kind of pick that up and advise you to do similar. Um, obviously, heaps of people would be changing it because the success is changing. And so you can kind of get the valuable insight of what is going on outside of your own little world um, straight directly here. Again, we can go and get the SERP of who's ranking and what headlines um, they have, topic details. You know, questions, reviews written on it, oh, sorry, I went too fast, no, let's move on, and our niche again for us to constantly come back with, same content creating system here, we can save that. Well, no way to back out except for to go back. No, and then we are there. So let's have a look. Then you've got your AI content rewriter. Yep, so you can, how much you want it to be rewrit. Text summarizer. Put in a domain or put your content in. Tell it how much you want it to summarize. Okay, so if we go back to here, our content writer. So these are what we've saved before. We can view our niche, but let's go back into our document. So that's what saving it the save was so it puts it on the side there where we can go back and have a look at it right, loading 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 all right so down below in the description too i'll have a link for you guys so you don't have to remember where to go from it it is an affiliate link so I will be rewarded for my effort and you will be rewarded if this is something that you will use with a cool program that you can use to start improving your business and focusing your business from the get-go. All right, so as we close in on this, we can take elements that we like and we can generate a question we can rewrite it or and we can copy it out. So as we're going through this stuff, so we can grab that and we can get it to generate us a question. So this is really useful um, in being able to um, help us with our content. And I know we can kind of think of it ourselves, but the point of this is that it gives us like a brain's trust to compare our notes and how we would write with, you know, this AI machine that is trained off the internet. Um, let's see. So there's nothing there. Let's give it a bit more. So then the rewriting tool up here. So it rewrites it. So if we like what is already being said, stated there, we can rewrite what is there to make it more our own. And then we can copy that. So we can rewrite it a number of times if we want. Keep spinning up that and then use it ourselves. Don't plagiarize. This is the AI rewriting for you. So I guess then at the end of the day, it becomes your own. And so we can get the question and we can generate the answer. So 
perfect. And then copy and put in. So great for doing frequently asked questions and any kind of questions that you might need uh, for looking at what other people are doing, what has been successful with other people and spinning it in a way that relates to you and your niche, not plagiarizing. Be careful not to just copy and paste someone else's work. That is not what this tool is for. Okay, and then we just go back. And there we go, it's saved there again. When we go into copywriting wizard, there is something that I do want to check. So when we go here, and then we go back into there, where is our saved webinar? Okay, so let's have a look. Right, this goes back into all projects. Let's go back into this. See, it's got this note section as well. Try saving insights in market research. Okay, so as we go through the market research, Anything that we are saving in here comes up in and practical marketing. So let's test. They've got resources here, knowledge base, workflows, frequently asked questions. They've got a Slack community. They've also got a Facebook group. Um, so let's see. Can we save any of this stuff? Keyword question graph, comparison graph. Let's click it. Uh -huh. So it just goes into search. This goes back into search. All right, let's go spine wizard. Oh, sorry, guys. Have a look. Okay, so if we were to save any of this stuff, how does this work? Search for all that. We can see the trends for all that, which we know just put this off into Ava. All right, well, I didn't see a thing where I could save it easily. So, not sure how notes is. Let's go back into this. Let's go fill it with examples. Okay, so if we write them down like what we already know and or any other information here, so we click save on that. And then we go to notes. So I'm not sure. I have to ask what is the functionality of notes. Q search. Let's have a look at this feature. Let's just nothing. Let's go. This is searching through the app for this word. So if we, for whatever reason, need to hone in on anything that we have already previously written, um, we can do a cool Q search and it can help us through there. Let's go back to our dashboard.
All right. So 23 credits used out of 10,000 for doing what we have done. Our market research still needs to go here and let's do this power up. So if we go into here, I go cool competitors. Um, let's just go here. Let's take that. Let's add this URL. Power up. Just is that done? All right, well, let's do it again. Now on something else. Let's take that one. Let's put it in. Done. Okay. So. That'll be interesting to see. So it helps us get highly relevant data in call queue search. So now let's go back to search. We need to put in earning. Okay. Fair enough. Well, my friends, is crawlq.ai. Um, remember, there is a special deal on down below. I'll try and keep you up to date with any of their sales and promotions so that if you just come here and click the link, I will have the best available to my knowledge links down below so that you can save the most on this. Um, this program is early on in the days and so it is improving, improving, improving all the time. The developer is really friendly and constantly seeking and responding to feedback. Um, it is a tool that I would recommend for the fact that it puts the customer first in all your content creation. It constantly keeps reminding you and focusing you on the customer's needs, on the customer's wants, on the customer's desires, so that you can speak in a language that gets them to act. But they have a public roadmap. This is it, their roadmap. So you can rate, rank features and see um, see where they're going with the tool, see what they're focusing on, you know, they're coming, what's coming up. Um, so I find this really almost fundamental for these tools to be able to have that 360 feedback where you as the user can help the developer know what it is that you want to have developed. The other aspect is the, the fact that it has you know feedback um, survey in here so this team is really interested and focused on having that constant communication with its users to make this tool absolutely the the best most powerful tool that it can be and so i highly applaud um, the Crawl Q team for this and for never shying away from feedback, from never shying away from questions, to from, for always being willing to support its customers and its users. Um, they can give you one-on-one -on -one walkthroughs they were doing at the start, but in their plan, they can do that. They do webinars on the products. They actively answer and engage with users. This is a big thumbs up. Um, you want a tool where the developers are passionate and where the developers are 
using that feedback, one, seeking that feedback, and two, using that feedback to constantly develop a, a tool that's better for the users. Um, yeah, so I just really wanted to say, well done, cool cue for that. That is absolutely an essential part of software developing and, you know, service and product development in general. So that's cool cue, guys. Have a look, check it out in the links below. Have a good one.